Welcome back to Live Darts Everyone with me, Phil Bars. First of all, just want to say a massive thank you to all of you for the love and support you showed to Live Darts across the World Championships over the festive period. We did some unbelievable viewing numbers and that wouldn't have been possible without all of you guys. So thank you very much. Would you believe it was a year ago we launched Live Darts TV at the Masters last year? Where has that year gone? We've gone from strength to strength. We've done some amazing things over the last 12 months. However, we're not gonna stop where we are. We're gonna to continue to grow, and that's all you guys coming on the journey with us. You'll be pleased to know the new season is upon us. The Bet Victor Masters is back this weekend, the 1st to the 3rd of February at the MK Arena, with the top 16 doing battle for a prize pool of 200,000 pounds. PDC Chairman Barry Hearn announced there's £14 million worth of prize money to play for this year. Staggering amount of money, so players are now chasing their dreams, and who can blame them? Can anyone stop world champion Michael Van Gerwen? He's made the Masters his home, he's always started off the season strong. He's won four on the bounce. Can he make it five this year? You certainly won back against him. In last year's final, he beat countryman Raymond Van Barneveld 11-9 in an absolute unbelievable final they both averaged well over 100 that was one of the best we've seen Barney last year we all know he's not here this year what do you think of that he's dropped completely down the rankings it's a big year for Barney we're going to see what happens there but who can stop the big green machine because at times he's irresistible there's certainly a few question marks over some of the top 16 players some of them had bad worlds, some of them got fitness issues, so it's going to be interesting to see the first one of the year, what goes down in Milton Keynes this coming weekend. The Premier League is also just around the corner, so many of the top stars will be using this as a dress rehearsal for opening night in Newcastle, so they need to hit the ground running if they're to have a good season. Now we're going to take you through the outright market and see who the bookies fancy at MK this weekend. You won't be surprised that Michael Van Gerwen is the odds on favourite to lift the crown again for a fifth time. The big green machine is 10 to 11. It's very short, isn't it? But you wouldn't back against him. Second favourite, and an interesting one, is Gary Anderson at 5 to 1. But we haven't seen Gary since the World Championships, when we all know his well documented fitness battles with his back. As we've seen from social media, he's been having treatment on it, but how it is, none of us know, because he's kept cards very close to his chest, so we'll see this coming weekend if his back is back to normal, or is it still causing him a problem. Next up in the betting, we've got Michael Smith, 8-1. to one. Bully boy got to a world final, it just didn't quite live up to expectation in the final, but an unbelievable job getting there. Also won a World Series event Premier League final last year. Bully Boy surely has his eyes on the top four for this coming season. Eight to one looks a great price for Michael Smith in my opinion. Up next we have two at ten to one. We have Rob Cross and Peter Wright. The bookies can't separate them and both have points to prove this year. Rob relinquished his world title in the end. Luke Humphreys played very well to beat him. But this year, I think we'll see the best of Rob Cross because he'll have time to prep, won't have sponsor commitments, advertising commitments, being world champion. So I think we'll see the best of Rob. Also, rumours that we might see him playing with a new dart, so watch this space. Snakebite Peter Wright didn't have the best of times at the Worlds as he got dumped out by Tony Altenas. A complete shock in that game. And afterwards, Wright actually admitted that maybe he has chopped and changed his darts too much. So we'll see if he stuck to that. I saw what he was using in an exhibition. He'd gone back to the tried and tested diamond grip darts. So let's see how long they last. I really hope that Snakebite produces his best because he's a great player to have around the circuit. They're both 10 to 1. From there, we go to Mensa Sulovic at 16 to 1 with the bookies. The gentle giant has a point to prove here. Didn't have the best of time at the Worlds. Crashed out early. So Mensa really needs to hit the ground running with the Premier League coming up as well. I think he'll be a locked away practicing for the last three, four weeks because he's an absolute perfectionist. 16 to 1 each way represents a little bit of value for Mensa if he can get on a good run. Next up, we have James Wade at 25 to 1. We all know the machine on TV just finds a way to win games. Just signed the new management deal with Nevada as well, which will stand him in good stead with John Archer. But he won back to back majors last year, so he can never be discounted. Um, when it comes to TV titles, and he's also won the Masters before. Only three people have done that, being James, Phil Taylor, and of course MVG. So he's a proven winner over course and distance. Next up, we've got three players at 33 to 1. We've got Daryl Gurney, we've got Adrian Lewis, and we've got Gerwin Price, all with points to prove. Uh, Daryl Gurney won the Players' Championship, but then didn't do too well at the Worlds. 
Adrian has been on a steady increase again since plummeting to a lonely ranking. So I think we'll see the best of Jackpot again this year, continuing to climb. I'm sure he's got one eye on the top 10. But all eyes will be on Gerwin Price after a record fine from the DRA for antics last year. That's a separate issue, but I'm sure the Iceman will have an absolute point to prove going into the Masters this weekend. And the last one of note, 50 to 1 on Joe Cullen. Again, Joe didn't produce his best at the Worlds, he knows that. But on the TV, he is a danger. He's in the top 16 for a reason, and again, he will have eyes on the top 10. So that's the favourite with the bookies. What do you all think? Round 1 is over two nights, Friday night and Saturday night. I think it's a massive advantage if you play on the Friday night because then you get Saturday off to rest and recover after what I'm sure will be some thrilling games. So we're going to take you through all the round one games, starting off with Friday's action. First up, MVG against Johnny Clayton. Obviously, MVG is a massive favourite and wouldn't have it any other way. But Johnny has pushed him on TV. Will he win over a best of 19? I don't think so, but Michael is too short to back at 1-16. to 16. So, Michael to win, maybe something on the handicap there. Mensah Sulevic against Simon Whitlock. Now, I think the bookies have got this price wrong. Yes, Mensah should be favourite because of his ranking, but at 4-9, I think that's a little short considering the form he's in. Simon at 7-4 to four represents good value. I think this game has legs. What are you all you think? Then we have Daryl Gurney against Dave Chisnell. Again, the bookies can't separate these. They're both 10 to 11. This should be a close game, and it should be an absolute 180 fest. They both hit them. I think this game goes deep in legs, so the 180s would be the bet here for me, as it's a coin toss who wins the game. Last up, we have Gary Anderson against Darren Webster on the Friday evening. Ando, 1 to 6 against 4 to 1 for Webster. Now, I think that's a little bit short on Gary Anderson considering we don't know how the back is. If the back's fine, you certainly wouldn't back against Gary. But there's questions that need to be answered from the Flying Scotsman. So what do you all think on this game? Can you back Gary, or are you going to go for the outsider in Darren Webster? Moving on to the Saturday night games, we have Rob Cross against Joe Cullen. Rob, a 4-11 to favourite against Cullen. Again, rumours he's going to be playing with some new darts, so it'll be interesting to see. But knowing Rob like I do, he'll have been locked away, practising hard for this, back in a routine. He goes on about routines a lot being important to him, and I think we'll see the best of voltage this coming year in 2019. Next, we have another coin toss game. We have the Iceman, Gerwin Price, against the Machine, James Wade. The bookies can't separate them. Can you? One bet that I would like in this game is probably Gerwin Price, most 180s, because he does hit a lot of them. Um, James is more of a 140, big, big checkouts man. So it'd be interesting to see this game. Who do you think will win? Let us know in the comments. Next up, we have the two best mates playing against other. We have Michael Smith against Ian Diamond White. 1 to 3 Smith, 12 to 5 White. I think that um, Bully Boy nicks this one. I think it'll be close. I know Ian White's got the monkey on his back that he doesn't play well on TV. We all know he's an amazing floor player. I just like to see that on the big stage. But I think Bully Boy gets the job done. Last first round game, we have Peter Wright against Adrian Lewis. Peter Wright, a small favourite with the bookies at 8 to 11. Adrian Lewis, 11 to 10. This should be a high quality affair, I think. Wright will have got back to basics with his darts. Back to the UK Open dart, the one that we know is tried and tested. And there's just signs that Adrian Lewis is on the verge of doing something special. We saw glimpses at the Worlds. We saw glimpses on the Euro Tour last year. We all know Jackpot is one of the best in the business. One of the best to watch. So who wins this one? Again, I think this goes deep. It's hard to call a winner. What do you all think? Thanks for joining us here at Live Darts for our preview of the Bet Victor Masters this coming weekend. Remember, follow Live Darts across all social media platforms for up-to-the-minute updates if you can't be watching live. Again, we've got interviews with players coming up. We'll have previews and we'll have up-to-the-minute leg-by-leg action on Twitter for you all. So remember, follow Live Darts. We've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. We're active on them all. Any questions, any platform, give us a shout here at Live Darts. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you all soon.